Hey guys, this is Jeff Williams of J.P. Williams Nature Photography. Today we want to share one of the neatest stories of the Smoky Mountains. It's the story of the Walker sisters who instead of moving off their homestead when the states began to buy up land for the Smoky Mountains National Park, worked a deal to where they could live on the land for the rest of their lives. If you're traveling toward Cades Cove and you see Metcalf Picnic Area, turn right and find the one lane bridge Cross it, go about a mile or a mile and a quarter up that old asphalt road. You'll find a road that turns up the hill to the right. It's a rough dirt road, but it's very much worth the trip up to the Greenbrier Schoolhouse where the Walker sisters would have been educated. From there, you can continue on foot for about a mile up to the Walker sisters' cabin. And this is where our story begins. There's nothing, no houses or anything from the schoolhouse to the walker's cabin. Seven sisters lived here until 1964 when the last one passed away. They maintained this place. They entertained visitors. Is it worth the walk? It's absolutely worth the walk. History, pride, patriotism, honor. It's a wonderful story. And we're going to share it with you right now. This is my sister, Jana Murray, reading about the Walker sisters. There were seven sisters who lived here. The sister's father, John, and mother, Margaret, came here after, shortly after the Civil War. Um, the house is made of tulip poplar logs insulated with rock and mud. They had a barn, corn crib, smokehouse, pig pen, apple barn, and a blacksmith shop. There's a spring house on the nearby creek where they kept milk and butter cool throughout the year, as well as providing storage for pickled vegetables. They planted orchards with more than 20 kinds of apples. On, they had 122 acres, as well as peaches, cherries, and plums. They also raised chickens, sheep, goats, and hogs. John built chairs, looms, and even a small cotton gin. They raised 11 children, seven girls, and seven boys. Um, the Walker boys left home or married, while only one sister, Sarah Caroline, married. The six unmarried ladies stayed in Little Greenbrier with, with their father, inheriting the farm after his death in 1921. The sisters fed and clothed themselves, raised livestock, and maintained their mountain homestead for over 40 more years. The sisters were excellent spinners and weavers. They spun the wool from their sheep and wove the skeins of yarn into fabric. Flax and cotton were grown to produce textiles using the cotton gin their father had built. Following in their mother, Margaret's footsteps, the daughters, daughters kept a, an herbal garden for mountain remedies, including horseradish, bone set, and peppermint. Natural plants in the forests were also used. The sisters once said, our land produces everything we need except sugar, soda, coffee, and salt. In 1926, Congress approved with authorization of the park allowing North Carolina and Tennessee to start raising money to buy nearly half a million acres, most of which was privately owned. Parcels of land collected from families and timber companies alike were bargained for, haggled over, and eventually purchased, including the Walker Homestead. The sisters refused to leave their mountain home and held out until 1940 when President Roosevelt officially dedicated the park at Newfound Gap. With the park's creation, the sisters received $4,750 for their land as well as the opportunity to live out the rest of their lives at their home through a lifetime lease, with Louisa staying until her death in 1964. After three sisters died between 1945 and 1951, two were left, Margaret and Louisa, they wrote to the park superintendent asking if the visitor's welcome sign could be taken down as they were getting too old to work the farm and greet visitors too. 
Though the Walker sisters are now gone, their legacy lives on through their homestead. When you visit the Walker sisters' beloved home, stand on their porch and imagine what life was like for them as they trapped food in the forest, tended to their gardens and livestock, and openly welcomed visitors before and after the park was established. There were no fried apple pies to greet visitors, but enjoy instead the peaceful atmosphere surrounding the long, vacant homestead of the Walker sisters. A tribute to mountain ingenuity, perseverance, perseverance, determination, and just downright bullheaded stubbornness. You are not going to make me leave. All things we need today in America. <laughs>